as a kid, I was very reluctant to have anything go away. I wanted to save the little ephemera from everything. And I, I did live in India from when I was two till I was seven. And I think that influenced me a lot in my wanting to save everything and find a use for it. So that there's something about that that draws me, the idea of the little sort of moment in time that I do try to save, but that no one really can. So I started sewing myself paper dresses as a way to sort of create my own things that I didn't feel were, the materials are not precious at all. You can get yards and yards for a few dollars. And I think that kind of goes with the paper too, wanting to take this thing that's not very fancy and sort of find a way to draw something out of it or make it, turn it to a use in a way. Representatives from Canada and Mexico looked on as the Golden Gate Bridge, the final link in a continuous highway between their countries, was dedicated to the public's use. And I'm making a bunch of dresses, seven dresses, that are going to be based on the Fiesta Queens from the opening of the bridge. So I'm recreating them and reinterpreting them to represent the counties that funded the bridge. It's been interesting going around and finding people I can talk to about what is it about the county that they live in or grew up in or whatever that they could speak to. Because talking to people from Marin, a bunch of people said, oh, that rainbow bridge, that as you're, you've just crossed the Golden Gate, you're home. You go through that and you're in Marin and you feel like, ah. So that's going to get worked into my design for Marin. The dresses are all made of paper with some fabric to reinforce them, but I sew it, I glue it, I cut it, I stretch it. And the crepe paper, the reason it's so special to work with is because it's all gathered up. And so it has spring in it. So if you stretch just one part, then it's no longer flat. It gets all these different undulating shapes. So you can play with that. Like making the skirt for the, that I'm gonna sew all the ruffles on I just stretch the paper to get it to be the right shape. You'd never do that with cloth. You'd have to cut it and piece it all together. But I actually like the way that the paper dresses look better when they've been worn and they're a little bit softened and shaped and worn onto a person's body and don't look so sculptural and rigid and impersonal. And I feel like in a way I'm much more comfortable working in these really ephemeral things where you make it and you know it'll be gone because really it'll all be gone. Wait, we know who, who lasts forever, none of this.